This is my email with 18,551 messages unread. And this is my AI bot replying to each one of them. Since emails were made, humans have been replying to them manually every single time. And there has not been an innovation in terms of email until now. In the era of AI and automations, it becomes quite time consuming replying to each one of them and many of the times we just miss out on reading any of the emails. Many a times it might lead you to lose out on opportunities or even sales. So here is my attempt to build out an AI bot that not only reads my emails but also replies to them as if I am sitting behind the laptop. And not just this, it will also schedule meetings for me on my Google Calendar. So let's get right into it. It all started with this one problem. Too many emails and not enough time to reply to each one of them. People were asking for meetings but my replies were slow and sometimes I just forgot. Other times I just gave up. Now I'm not alone. An average person checks their email almost 15 times a day, let alone the numerous notifications that you get on your mobile phone. But still we somehow miss all the important ones. So I began simple. My first obvious answer was Gmail filters and labels. If an email said meeting or call, it would automatically get listed in a label that I'd created for it. This way, all the emails were starting to get segregated. It helped out a lot, but it wasn't able to get the context. Many of the times, emails that were not supposed to go in this label were automatically being sent over there. And other times, it would not pick out the correct ones. Example, this email. Someone has written that they want to connect with me probably next week. Of course, the filters wouldn't catch it because here there is no mention of the word meeting or call. And plus, at the end of the day, I have to reply to each one of them manually. So how do I simplify the process much further on? Next thing that I tried was shortcuts. I've made a detailed video about this particular Chrome extension. It's called Text Place. Essentially, I added it so that whenever I type slash meeting, it would pull out a shortcut and send in a predefined text to anyone who is asking for a meeting or a link. So this is how you can set up your own snippets on TextBlaze. Now, once you go over to TextBlaze, I've already set up some snippets over here, but let me just create a snippet folder to keep things organized. After that, I'll just name it as meetings and inside it, I'll create a new snippet. Now you can name the snippet whatever you like. I'll just create it as booking meeting. After that, you have to add in the shortcut. For me, it will be slash meeting. Then let's add the text. I think I've already added a slash meeting. So I'll just add it as slash meeting one. Okay, so I've set up the slash meeting shortcut. After that, just add in whatever you want the slash meeting to be replaced with. So hey, Okay, perfect. So I've set up the snippet. Now all I need to do is save it and try it out. So let's go over to my email and try this particular email snippet out. So over here, let's just add in meeting. And as you can see, it automatically replaces the slash meeting with the text that I've already saved. Now I can just send it and we can book a slot for the meeting directly. For example, here it would clear the forward slash meeting with a predefined text, which was, hey, I'm available from Monday to Friday and this particular time and you can schedule a call with me. Now this made things much faster and there was a default message that I was able to send to multiple people. But again, it is not getting the context. For example, I had certain meetings scheduled on Tuesday and I was not available for certain time blocks. Because the message was structured in a way to keep me free from Monday to Friday and there was no way of knowing which time slots I'm specifically free in, the receiver would probably end up choosing a time slot where I'm not actually free in. The major problem was it was not able to read my Google Calendar and at which time slots I'm actually free in. So this is what I did. I connected my Google Calendar with an application called as Calendly. So Calendly gives you a personalized link which you can then share with your clients and they can book for meetings directly from there. Here only the slots that you are actually available in will show up. This worked really well. I started sending my Calendly links to people and they could just see which slots are available and book a meeting with me directly. But what if I do not open my email at all? This is not an automation, but rather I have to sit in front of my laptop and send emails manually. 
again not the most perfect way to schedule meetings so essentially the problem again was of context i needed someone who could read the mails reply to them accordingly and schedule meetings with them the responses needed to feel more personalized and essentially i needed an ai bot so this is what the bot needs to do it first needs to go and check my emails whatever mails have not been read it needs to read them and understand the context after that it has to fetch my google calendar and see which time slots i'm available in based on both of this data it needs to craft a reply and it needs to feel personalized as well so then i sat and started coding this entire bot there's a platform called as n8n and that is what helped me in building this entire automation there were three main components that i had to connect it with first was my gmail account second was my google calendar and third was open ai for chat gpt and llm this is how the entire flow works first an email comes in and that's the trigger after that chat gpt analyzes the data it tries to understand what the email is all about is it a meeting request is it a client lead or is it something else altogether apart from this the bot also checks my google calendar for my available time slots once i have both of these data points the ai then crafts a reply for the email it generates a custom response for example hey john tomorrow i'll be available from 2 pm to 5 pm let's schedule a meet anywhere between that time and finally it also sends this email automatically from my email account no calendly no back and forth no having to use shortcuts direct replies and understanding of the context as well and the best part is all the emails get a reply within seconds so i tested it out so the theory was working perfectly well but in live test did it work well let's look at it. so here i tested it out with a custom email something that i usually get i did not even open gmail in fact i let the bot handle it by itself the bot read the email it also read my google calendar in order to pick out great slots to fill up and it then crafted a personalized email to then send it to the client In fact this entire process took just a few minutes. I went on the meet and everything went well. The best part was they did not have any idea that an AI bot was setting meetings for me. Now although I have tested it for production I'm still doing the test and refining the bot much further. Of course it gives out certain false alarms here and there but apart from that the bot works perfectly well. If you want the entire NATN code that I set up you can just fill a quick form down in the description box or in the pin comments and I'll help you set it up as well. I'm not doing an entire in-depth tutorial on this but if you want the full automation I've linked it down in the description box as well as in the pin comments. You can fill the quick form up and someone from my team will contact you. You can then plug it to your own NATN setup or tweak it or even customize it to your like and if you like this video then you might probably like this one where i automated the entire job application process using n8n i'll see you in the next one bye bye